Hey, welcome to a fun episode of Spider Garage today. We got something that's actually easy and fun. No, not easy and fun. Easy? Not easy. Different choice of words. Okay, let me uh, rephrase that. He spent the last, Whoops. what, six hours Whoops. sanding down these tires. Why, you may ask? We got something pretty cool going on here. Check it out. Don't worry, we didn't grind that much off. Honestly, that's not even that deep, but it took a long time to grind this down. These tires are pretty tough. We went through several DA pads at 80 grit, and we left the tire size and a few of the letters. So we didn't do the entire tire. And that is what we're about to put on here. Thanks to Treadwear and uh, their incredibly generous sponsorship. Uh, this was a gift to Nathaniel for his 16th birthday, believe it or not. They saw an Instagram post about his birthday, and they said, uh, have a set of tire stickers on us. And we're like, what? And uh, this is what they sent us. It's so cool. Uh, let's get to putting these things on. Clean it off really well. I can tell which one you did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot smoother. You were a lot more thorough than I was. <laughs> yeah, this one's... Yeah. Is. <laughs> Are you saying I did a bad job? No. No, of course not, Dad. Yeah, I just... uh did a lot faster than I did it then. Yeah, you can still see just a little hint of the inside of the letters, whereas you look at his, well, it's kind of hard. He sprayed them here. Let's just say that's perfectly smooth, and he spent a lot more time doing that. As evidenced by how much rubber was on the inside of the rim yeah. on his versus mine. There we go. He did three, I did one. I kind of went the fast route. But it'll still work. I want to get these things done today because we're kind of running out of time. Yeah. By the way, these tires are already white letter. We're looking at the backside here. Yes, it's incredibly dirty, but these are Super Sport Uturas GLSs. And we were just checking to make sure that the, the tire size is still present on the backside because. Yeah, we grind it off. <laughs> hey, it'll still look good. What we're doing here is spraying this thing down. Uh, we're going over it twice and then uh, wiping it off with a dirty rag. Treadwear said to do that a couple times. No, well, dirty rag the first two times. And then uh, the third time we go over it, hit it with a, a clean rag. So right now, this is uh, my second go around with this, which it's amazing. It looks really clean, but look what's still coming off of here. And I flip that thing over before I did it the second time. So now we're going over it with a uh, clean rag and see what comes up. What's that? Get Making you nervous? Yeah. Why? No, nah, it's just make sure you put it on right. So. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm nervous too, bud. All right, clean rag, here we go. Yeah, because once these are stuck, they're stuck. They're not. They're not coming off. All right, yeah, check that out. That's the third time with a clean rag. Crazy. And this is after sanding down to literally pure rubber with the DA sander. So, I mean, it's, it's rubber to rubber, like I say in the video. All right, I'm happy with that. Time to put on some stickers. Mm -hmm. All right, so we just opened up the package here, and oh, it's so cool to hold these things in your hand, finally. We literally haven't opened this thing up until now. It's been sitting in your room. We've just been admiring it through the plastic. And we were kind of shocked to find out they actually give you sandpaper. So apparently grinding is not necessarily an unexpected thing. Yeah. We actually were just kind of taking the uh, the advice from a friend who had done this to his car. Uh, our friend Bill, with his yellow lines of spider, has treadwear letters on his car as well. And he says, yeah, you gotta sand them down. I'm like, okay, no problem. So now, 
Oh, look at that. Oh, and then this is supposed to go right here. Right on the end right there. Contour's a little off, but you know, you get the idea. How cool is that? That's all that's all eight of them stacked up there. It's pretty neat. I like to see the machine that die cuts those. All right, dude. I think it's time. Yep. I'm a little nervous too. Uh -huh. All right, Treadwear gives us these contour stickers. Contour stickers is what they are. You take the paper backing off of it, and it's just clear plastic that's sticky on one side. What you do is just take the sticky part, and you stick it on the tire, and you get an impression of the contour of the tire, because you can see this thing is not the same diameter as our 15-inch tires here. But this works for any tires, because this copies exactly what the contour is. So once you do that, you got a little bit of an impression on the back of it. You bring it back up where you're putting your stickers on and you lay this thing on there exactly to the contour that's stuck on the back of that. Luckily, we left enough on there to know exactly what our contour is. We didn't grind it all off. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do our best. We're just gonna use the back of the car as our workbench right now. I love the little added touch of the spider. That was just so cool. And we asked them to do the spider in red because the cars, theme is Miles Morales, whose uniform yes, is black, red, and white. So we thought, well, the tires are black, the wetters are white, let's put a little red in there. And so we did that. Mm -hmm. We weren't sure exactly what uh, Treadwear was going to come up with, but I am impressed. That's a lot of detail right there. We didn't even tell them what to do. We just said, just come up with some kind of spider. And that's what they did. Good job, Treadwear. The difficult part is that the only contour line we have is way up high and tread where it normally wants it a little bit lower maybe just like you know half inch to three quarters off the, the rim uh -huh. we don't have anything like that so while we have a contour line we're going to have to go we're going to have to center our letters kind of on the contour line and not use it as the baseline of the letters does that make sense in other words we'll have to take our best guess because normally you would use a contour line or something that's lower, you know, to use as kind of like the, the underline of the letters, but we don't have anything that low on these tires. So. Can we like mark out a contour line with a pencil? Um, we could possibly put a mark on there ourselves. Oh, you're talking about making a line down below it? Yeah. Yeah, I guess we could. Yeah, yeah like that's a good idea, actually. Okay, so quick explanation here. We were a little concerned that we didn't actually have a contour line to use as the base for these layers we want to put on here. And Nathaniel actually had the brilliant idea of making our own mark there somehow. And we thought some kind of a marker or a pencil or something. And then I thought, well, wait a minute. We'll just do it the old fashioned way with the um, micrometer here. And the letters are typically out one inch from the base. We checked the opposite side of the tire, by the way, which is white letter, and it was indeed one inch. So we got this thing set at one inch. I know my, don't read the digital part, it's messing up on me there. But anyway, we'll take this along the edge of the rim and we'll scribe a mark. We won't puncture the tire, but we'll scribe, a, hopefully, the idea is we'll scribe enough of a mark that that will show up on our impression paper. And um, we can use that as our baseline. Don't know if it's going to work yet, but in know. theory, it's a good idea. Okay. I took my uh, tool here and I scribed a line one inch inside, and I did it right underneath the letters as well. Not nervous, are you? No. <laughs> Give me a sec. Takes fingernails, which... Yeah, okay. There you go. Just keep that clean. Because we don't want a bunch of... Is it the clear part? The sticky side is what goes up against the tire here because that's the impression that you're going to grab is on that sticky side. So grab the other side. Beautiful windy day. Here we go. Put it down about where you're going to grab everything. There you go. And then lay it out. Keep it flat though. Okay. Oh yeah, check that out. Look at all. Oh, can we see the line though? That's the key. Yeah, you can. 
right there. Yeah, there's the line. That's the scribe mark we did right there. Perfect. That's what we uh, that's what we use. Let's go do that now. All right. The cool thing is, if you get it wrong, just pull it off and restick it. This is not permanent here. Start with your M. Just do one letter at a time. <laughs> I know you're nervous. Yeah. Don't worry. I got it. <laughs> and I need a motivation speech. Oh, you're such a teenager. <laughs> okay, we've already learned something. Nathaniel is unpeeling a second impression sticker because Miles the spider it's gonna to be too long for our a single one. So we're gonna stick a couple of them together because we really think it's just easier or better to do this all in one shot. All right, Nathaniel's already put the two stickers together. He's now trying to put the spider on here. Painstakingly one letter at a time. See if the camera can show it. Yeah, it does show it. You can see this line is the impression from the tire. We use it as the baseline all the way across there. You did good, bud. It actually looks all right. I'll pick it up quickly. Okay. Now it's up to you how far away you want to put Mr. Spider there. Pretty close, I think. Pretty yeah, close. about the same spacing as the word the, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cool. He's a little off. Yeah, his, his butt needs to be right in the center of that. <laughs> this is some work. I'm not going to lie. That's good. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, he's centered. There we are. The only thing I'll say is that there's a little bit more of a gap here. Yeah. I might want to recenter that. I think we'd already agreed on that anyway. One thing we were going to play around with too is do we want it in the middle? Do we want it at the baseline? I, I kind of like it in the middle, just like that. What do you think? Yeah, I kind of like that too. Yeah. It just kind of separates it a little bit. Oh, nice. I'll do that eight more times. Right. Well, let's get everything clean now. Take a look at the other side here. <laughs> awesome. Good. That looks cool. Can't wait to see it on the tire. How's a spider left today? Does that look a little off to you? No. No. All right, just for giggles, we went ahead and tried to mock it up here. It's not quite lined up, but we put it on there to figure out spacing, make sure that it looked okay, figure out how we're going to measure to um, make sure that they're exactly across from each other when we put the second set of letters on there. I think we're ready. So what Treadware said when using this high bond tire adhesive is to just draw a single line, take the tip off, draw a single line down the middle of the letter mm -hmm. and do that for like the first half with the tape in the middle, like I told you to flip it over and then take the tip of this and then spread it out. So the most thin coating works best. So the most common error is putting on too much glue. Okay. So just do a single line down and just like draw the letter out with a single line and then go back later and then spread it out with the tip. On the back of the actual sticker itself. Exactly, yeah. Yep, just like that. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, Treadwear says to uh, use some 50 to 70% isoprol alcohol to water it down if it's too, uh, too thick. Clean it off. They also say to use their sandpaper, but okay. since we just completely de aged this thing, <laughs> I say we're covered. All right, so let's tape this thing down the middle. We picked a lovely windy day to do this. All right, flip it around. Sure. Oh, I didn't make a scribe mark over there, dude. Oh. Yeah, I forgot to make a scribe. Let me grab it real quick. Yeah. Yeah, I did it on the one side, but not that side. Yeah. Kind of necessary. 
You know this makes you nervous. Step back. <laughs> it's not gonna blow. Um, I promise. Right? <laughs> okay, that's definitely visible. We decided that the little tab between the S and the P and the spider is our center mark. So we got a mark on the outer rim, outer edge of the rim, which is right there. All right, so tape it down about halfway, flip over the front, apply your glue. Oh boy. I know. <laughs> Good luck, son. Uh -huh. I think that's too much. No, that's perfect. That's exactly what they said to do. Just draw a single line down the middle. Just like you're drawing the actual letter out. You just spread it out, I guess. And just spread it out, yeah. yeah there you go, spread it out. It's like you're painting in kindergarten again. <laughs> Finger painting. Except, don't use your fingers because you'll never get it off of there again. Yeah, that'll <laughs> be on forever. <laughs> It takes a while, doesn't it? Yeah. Those are big, thick letters. It takes a while to spread all that out. I bet we're... I think it's fine. One letter. Yeah. Uh, five more to go. Yeah. Four more to go. But they do say to cover all of it, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because the little corners will, will come up at some point if you don't. Hmm. And, um, which can easily be fixed. You can just take a toothpick, pull up that corner, take a toothpick with a little bit of glue and stick it down in there again. Hmm. All right. Yeah, so you can see the base of your letter there. All right, one letter at a time. All right, that was painful. Yeah. <laughs> but here it is. We dropped just a little bit below the line right here in the center, but the edges are fine. You'll never see it from a distance. We accidentally touched a little bit up here, and so the glue touched the tire before we actually set it down. That's another lesson learned. We'll just be really careful next time around. We've got to go back and take a razor blade and take all these connectors out. We'll do that uh, here soon. But for now, really happy with how that looks. Now we just have to get the other one. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Still at it here. Yep. This is a tedious process. 9.20? What? Is it really? Yeah, we started at, what, 5.30? <laughs> well, we're just making sure it's right. <laughs> All right. It is tedious. A little more tedious than I thought. It's worth it though. It is definitely worth it, and you're doing a good job. Man, this is gonna look so good. Oh, look at this, all right. Last one. Yawning? For tonight, anyway. Well, yeah, not quite last yeah, one. Yeah, we're not done with that tire yet. Let's see how I did. I got to do one of them. <laughs> Daniel's done all of them tonight. I just did this one. Most of them, yeah. Uh, yeah, you did all but. One set. Still got a razor blade it. Oh yeah, forgot. Oh shoot. Gotta save that. There we go. That's yeah, our template good. for the next tire. Yeah. And then Mr. Spidey. Look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> oh man. I'm loving it, dude. Oh. Well, I missed the initial reaction, but uh, it was pretty much along the lines of, oh my gosh, yeah. holy crap. Look at this, guys. Still sitting up in the air, but, oh, that looks so good.
Bud. Right there. 